Identifying dependent and independent variables. April earns $10 per hour working at the garden center. If she works for five hours, she will earn $50. If she works for seven hours, she will earn $70. The number of hours April works and the amount of money April makes are related. In this lesson, we will identify dependent and independent variables. A dependent variable is a variable that depends on or is affected by other values. An independent variable is a variable that is not changed by other values. Does the number of hours April works determine the amount of money April is paid? Or does the amount of money April gets paid determine how many hours she works? The amount of money April is paid is determined or dependent on how many hours she works. So, the amount of money April earns is the dependent variable. The independent variable is the number of hours April works. She can work more or less hours, which has an effect on how much money she earns. Now, let's identify the dependent and independent variable in a different situation. Mark sells cupcakes for $1 each. The two variables in this situation are the amount of money Mark earns and the number of cupcakes he sells. It is helpful to fill in the blanks of this sentence with the variables to identify which is independent and which is dependent. Which sentence makes more sense? The amount of money Mark earns determines the number of cupcakes he sells or the number of cupcakes Mark sells determines how much money he earns. Since Mark earns money each time he sells a cupcake, the number of cupcakes he sells will determine the amount of money he earns altogether. So, the number of cupcakes he sells is the independent variable. The total amount of money he earns is dependent on the number of cupcakes he sells, making it the dependent variable. In this lesson, you learned how to identify dependent and independent variables.